Okay, hello and welcome to the second Analysis and Policy Observatory Annual Forum. Uh, it's officially an annual event now uh, that we've managed to hold it a second time. So I'm Jane Farmer and I am Director of the Social Innovation Research Institute at Swinburne University and I'm also Chair of the... What, what are you waving at me for? Yeah. Can't hear? Okay. Uh, and I'm also chair of the APO board and the lead investigator on the Australian Research Council LEAF project. Don't ask me to tell you what LEAF is an acronym for. Um, with APO on the Linked Semantic Platforms project. Uh, so firstly, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we're meeting on today, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation and to pay our respects to elders past, present and future. And to say women jaka to you all. Uh, we came across this map that the Victorian government provides online showing the areas of Victoria and the traditional owners that have been acknowledged across the state. Uh, it's a good example of how a fairly simple set of data can be displayed in an interesting and useful way that not only brings to life the data but that helps to inform the whole community about the ongoing negotiation of Aboriginal people with the state. Uh, we're pretty keen on data in the Social Innovation Research Institute and how it can help us to understand policy issues and contribute to better decisions that um, benefit the community. Uh, and of course, you, you probably can't see all the words on this picture. And um, this is our new infographic for the new uh, Social Innovation Research Institute Social Data Analytics Lab, otherwise known as Soda Lab. Um, hopefully, Amir Ariani, who heads up the lab, will be here uh, later on today. Um, the lab itself is, uh, is designed to bring together layers of data, um, one of which is APO data. So I, a really good example is a project we've just started doing for the Victorian government where we are spatially overlaying uh, data so that we can show how attitudes to uh, women and uh, violence against women and domestic violence have changed, hopefully, since the Victorian government's policy on domestic violence. So we'll have layers in there that are uh, draw drawing on open data, that are drawing on um, APO data, which will have, which will draw on APO grey literature and policy, um, which will draw on data from community organisations and a social media analysis. And all of these layers of data will be able to overlay spatially, so that we can actually show what kinds of uh, issues or factors or themes come together in areas where perhaps attitudes have changed most or least. So that's the idea of the social data analytics lab. So put it about, we're very interested in any experimental projects. Uh, so APO will play a major part in this by providing us with really good quality data on grey literature and research projects. Obviously, as you know, incredibly well curated with research tools. And as we know, APO also has alert services on policy and practice issues that we can use together with um, our projects and experiments. And Amanda and Amir will be telling you more about all of this later today. Um, I think this is uh, a nice easy part that Amanda's put in next for me to uh, show you. It's a really lovely funky video about APO as it now is, so I'm going to now hopefully play the video.
taster there of the exciting day that it's going to be. Uh, so today we want to celebrate the good things that are happening with APO and other public knowledge projects, but also to think about what needs to change or improve. What's APO next generation, if you like? How can we better support access to information in all its many guises, especially for public policy and public interest issues here in Australia, but also around the world? Let's face it, we need it, right? Um, we'll be hearing some stimulating ideas, cutting edge research and practical challenges. And we'll also have time for discussing the next steps with you. The day is called Redesigning the Public Knowledge System for a Reason. As we know, APO wouldn't be here without the support of many partner organisations and we'd like to thank our major partners, Swinburne University, the University of South Australia, uh, ANZOG and the Australian Research Council. Through the LEAF grant programme and other projects, we also work with ANU, RMIT, Western Sydney University, the University of New South Wales and the Centre for Research in Low Carbon Living. Auckland University and many organisations producing policy research, publications, data and other resources. Basically, all of you, um, you are the fan club and the support club. Thank you for working with us and for coming here today. And thanks for being part of this great event and we hope that you enjoy the day.